welcome to the Green Smoothie Challenge. I've been studying natural health for the last 20 years. There is so much health information out there, it can really get confusing. But what I have found is that there is one thing that really does work. It will give you a ton of energy, help you lose a lot of weight, it tastes great, and it's easy. It's the Green Smoothie Challenge. So we start out with the green leafy vegetables, which are full of fiber, protein, chlorophyll, and enzymes. And then to that, we add all your favorite fruits. You can do anything, pineapple, strawberries, pears, bananas. You can even use non-sweet fruits, like cucumbers, tomatoes, bell peppers, avocados. All right, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go to the store and get some produce. So here I am at our local market where they have an amazing selection of dark leafy green vegetables, which are the only vegetables that you want to include in your smoothie when you're working with fruit. Fruit doesn't mix well with anything but dark leafy green vegetables. So you want to leave the other starchy vegetables um, for your salads and any dish that does not contain fruit. And my all-time favorite is kale. I eat kale all the time. It is one of the healthiest foods on the planet. They have Italian kale, green kale, red kale. What you want to do is use a wide variety of greens. There's actually a level of toxicity that you can reach if you use the same greens every day, so it's very important to switch up your greens. So one day I might use some Italian kale, the next day I would use romaine, and then I might even try spinach the next day. If Another way to really simplify your smoothie making is just to buy a wide variety of frozen fruits. I like to use raspberries, marion berries, strawberries are my favorite. I always buy a bag of peaches. All right, so now that we've gotten all of our produce, I am gonna show you how so easy this is to make a green smoothie. You're not gonna believe it. Um, today, I think I'm gonna start with a pear. Pears are just sweet, um, they'll add a great flavor. And I just got some frozen strawberries, which are great for the winter time when you can't just run out to the garden and pick some. And then I'm also gonna use a banana, which is a great thing to put in all of your smoothies at first because it really covers up the flavor of any greens that you put in. And then I'm also going to put some romaine lettuce in. And romaine has a very mild flavor and spinach does as well. So those are good greens to start with. All I'm gonna do is chop the end off of this whole bunch of romaine. I'm just gonna start with half and put it in there. Fills up half my blender, it looks good. Oops, there's really no science to this, I promise. You just kind of put in what looks good that day and Try it, and if it was great, then write it down, and you can do it again the next day. I'm going to cut off the um, just I cut off the stem of the pear, and then chop it in half and throw it in. This blender is three horsepower, so it will chop up anything. You can put your kid's wooden block inside of here, and it will li liquefy it. I wouldn't recommend it though; it wouldn't taste very good. So I'm just going to put these frozen strawberries in there. Frozen fruit is really nice too because it gives it that smoothie consistency that um, you won't taste any grit from the greens. All right, watch this. I'm gonna just put it on the smoothie setting. put it through the cycle twice it looks like it um, blended up really well now you can see that this smoothie is not green if you wanted it to be green you could put some parsley or some dandelion greens some kale you can put whatever greens you want in there this is a little bit pink because of the strawberries if you add berries it probably won't be green but that's okay because it has greens in there and the whole idea 
is to sneak the greens into your diet. So it doesn't matter if it's not green, they're in there. Now I'd like to take my special glass. This particular glass reminds me of a celebration, a vacation. I like to just make it a special kind of ritual in my morning. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. It's good, it's really good. You should try one. Okay, cheers. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Maria. All right, so you did the green smoothie <laughs> challenge. I did. How long did you do it? Four days. Okay, and why did you do it? Did you have some goals? Yes, I wanted to uh, give my body a chance to detox. Okay, did you have some good results? I did. Yeah. Uh, I was really surprised. Um, uh, probably the biggest thing that surprised me was the weight loss. Um, lost seven pounds in four days. <laughs> wow. Um, I had a lot of energy um, and I just felt good. Okay. Good. So did you do it again? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. What was your least favorite part about doing it? Did you have? Uh, I'd say um, making dinner for my family when I was on this movie. So what was your favorite part about doing the challenge? Favorite part? Probably seeing the results, looking at myself in the mirror and going, wow, I look thinner. You know, and, and I was totally out of control. So I was at the heaviest I'd ever been in my life. You know, I'm strapped to a desk every day. Um, you know, working with the kids at night and just not making time to get to the gym. I cannot believe the results in such a short period of time as far as what I look like when I look at myself in the mirror and then when I step on the scale. So that's amazing. And then getting the positive reinforcement. And then there's the confidence that comes with that too. So um, you're just more effective in every, you know, avenue of your life. So how was your energy level? Um, it was... Uh, it was pretty good. I think day, was it day three? Day three, I definitely had more energy than the previous two days, day one and two. And I, I noticed that because um, uh, I typically work out on a compu trainer oh, right. bike. Okay. And um, I, on day three, I was actually able to have a higher performance level wow. than I had had for probably a few weeks. And you like the taste. Mm -hmm. I like you the love it. I like the taste and I like the energy and now I go racing around my little peninsula. Not racing, but you know, <laughs> I'm I'm walking and I'm not feeling so creaky and my muscles don't hurt. I truly Maria, I'm I'm feeling like a young girl and yeah. you know, I all but gave up after dad died and except for sprints when you kids came to visit, in between was pretty rough going. Yeah. So to have something that I can eat and it just sort of just happened that made me feel better and as I felt better I started making better choices and then I realized that you know this is this is a real grateful existence a beautiful life and I have an awful lot to live for and I feel like um, at my age I could live a long long time now where I was about ready to throw in the towel I just you know I just felt puny and so I lived puny I mean that's the bottom line right. and I don't think that that's so unreal from a lot of people. Mm -hmm.